Hi guppies! So I'm going to go live with um, a game we're going to play. It's a matching game. So first, um, I wonder if I can turn myself back around. <laughs> I found this funny little um, app thing that was on here. And I was like, well, let's try it out. And what color am I, guppies? I'm blue right now. So let me see if I can turn this around because I wanted to show you. Um, remember I was working on a puzzle. I started it the other day. And I was telling you about the edge pieces and how I would always start to find the edge pieces first and put them in a row. So let me see if I can turn this around. Is this right? No. Let me go back. Oh, here it is. Okay. So oh, let me see if I can get rid of that color maybe that i get rid of it so maybe i go no ah there we are okay so um my family's been working on the puzzle and this was the picture it has a thousand pieces and it's a lighthouse by the ocean I do love water, and you can see the birds and the clouds and the sun shining in. So um, that's the puzzle we've been working on. And remember I was showing you that there were pieces, animal shapes within the puzzle. So this is how much um, we've gotten done so far. You can start to see the lighthouse is showing. And look, there's some of those pieces that we played what's missing with the arrow and there's the duck and the heart and the bell and so we're going to keep working on this and I can't wait to see the puzzles you're working on guppies so I see teacher Jennifer is here and teacher Rachel hi guys this is night this is my puppy well he's a big dog um it's my kid's dog, Knight. He's a really good boy. Say hi. Okay, so we're going to go outside. Since it's sunny out, I thought I would do this project outside with you guys. I have it all set up here. Except I wasn't thinking about me being in the shade. So maybe I'll go this way. Okay. So here I have three bowls. One, two, and three. And then I have all these bugs they're actually plastic bugs, and they're different colors, and I got out bugs because of Passover, because of the plagues that came back when the Jewish people were slaves in Egypt, and um, God was trying to let Pharaoh, tell Pharaoh to let his people go. Moses was telling people, telling them, let my people go. And so God made some different plagues, and some of them were locusts, which were flying bugs. And then there were the frogs. So there was all different kinds of plagues. So I got out these bugs, and I thought we could sort them by colors. So let's see what colors do you see, guppies. I see yellow. And I see, ooh, a purple spider and a red fly. Bzzz. And here's a yellow, what's that? Caterpillar. What do caterpillars turn into? Caterpillars turn into butterflies. I think this is actually a dragonfly, but we can pretend it's a locust or we can pretend it's a butterfly and it's purple. And is that all the bugs? Oh, here's one. You know what this is, guys? It's called a cricket or a grasshopper. I believe they're kind of like a locust, kind of like a... Um, plague that came. So we're going to sort these by three colors. So first I'm going to get all my yellow and I'm going to count them as I put them in the bowl. One, two, 
three. <gasps> Wait, is that yellow? That's not yellow. That's purple. Good eye, guppies. Good eye. Where were we? Four. And last one. Five. Five yellow bugs. Okay, what color should we do next? Let's do red. One red bug. Two. Three. Four. And five. Five red bugs. Now, the last ones are my favorite color, purple. One purple bug, two purple bugs, three purple bugs, four purple bugs, and five purple bugs. So I have five purple bugs in the bowl. Five, 10, 15. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bugs all together. Hmm, I wonder if we could go find some real bugs. Since we're in my backyard, let's go see. I see night over here, and I see these tires over here. And I know bugs love to hide under tires. Ooh, there's some water in there from the rain. This is the perfect spot for there to be bugs. Let me just move those. How many tires? One, two, three. And there's some fruit in here that fell off of this um, plant here. There's part of the fruit right on the tree. I forget what kind of fruit they are. But anyway, we're going to look under this tire. Ooh, I see a bug right there, guys. <gasps> look at that bug. Wow, that's a pincher bug. Look at him. You know what? I must have disturbed him when I moved the tire. There he is, pincher bug, crawling around on the tire. See his little pinchers on the back? I don't want to touch him. Because he could pinch me with those pinchers. Knight wants to see what's going on. What's going on, Knight? All right, Knight, we're going to lift up this tire. And we're going to see if there's anything oh, underneath. Whoa! <gasps> Guppies, look what I found. Roly polies. <gasps> look at that guy. And a worm. Where's the worm? There he is. <gasps> See the worm? He's wiggling, guppies. He's wiggling. And then there's a slug there. See that slug right there? Let me push this tire back so it doesn't splash down on me. Hold on. And then we can really look at these bugs. Maybe I can get this stick over here and see if I can pick up this slug for you guys. Ooh, yeah, there he is. Where'd he go? Where am I? Where's my video? Where's my stick? There he is. He's wiggling. Let me move him over here. Maybe he'll move around for us a little bit. That's called a slug, guys. Oh, do you see his little antenna coming off the front there? Those are his feelers. That's how he feels where he's going. Because he doesn't have any eyes. He can't see. So he just feels his way around with those little feelers. If I get too close, it gets blurry, I see. And he's wiggling around. I disturbed him. Sorry, buddy. And there goes a roly-poly. Walking around. Probably looking for food. It's another roly-poly. There's a white slug right there. Boy, there was a lot of bugs under this tire. Where did our slug go? There he is. He's trying to make his way back to where he was, I think. I think that the roly-polies really like this fruit. See? There's a couple right there. There's one right there on the fruit. 
And there was a whole bunch. Look, a whole family, guys. The whole family staying together. Some of them are curled up in balls. So I'm going to put the tire back so I don't disturb their house. There's another worm. Worms are really good for our dirt and our plants. They eat the dirt. They don't have any eyes either, guys. They can't see. There he is, wiggling. Look at him crawl. He has no legs, guppies. How does he get along? How does he get around? He has to wiggle his body. I bet you guys could do that. I bet you guys could crawl around on the ground like a worm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He is a very fast worm, isn't he? Look how far, look how fast he's going. He wants to go hide under those leaves and get away from me as fast as he can. He's playing hide and seek. Where, oh, where, oh, where did he go? He's hiding under that leaf. And then there's another little roly-poly. Walking around there. See his little antenna? He has a lot of little legs on there. A lot of little legs. His antenna. So they all use their antennas to feel around and feel where they're going because they live in the dark, guys. They live down in the dirt and under rocks and under things, so they don't use eyes to see. They use these little feelers. Can you see them? So cool. Well, thank you, Bugs, for letting us see your home today. You guys all live down here in the dirt under this tire, so we'll put the tire back very carefully. So hopefully I don't hurt any of our little friends. And put that back. And I think that was a good discovery today, guppies. Go out and see what you can discover in nature. Bye. How do I end it? <laughs> Thanks for staying on, Jennifer and Rachel. I don't know how to end my video. Let's see. Oh, super cute puppy. Oh, hi, Hannah. Hi, guys. There goes Knight. He probably wants to play. You want to play? You want to play? He has this um, raccoon toy that he loves right here. See? Get it, Knight. Get it. Get your toy. Get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. We like to play tug of war with it, and then he likes to go chase it. <laughs> and then I'm going to get it. Oh, a mushroom. You guys, Knight found a mushroom. You see it? When it rains a lot, we get mushrooms, but don't eat them. Okay, one more time, Knight, one more time. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> He's a funny dog. Got my camera's all blurry here for some reason. Make sure you get some exercise and exercise your animals. Bye, guys.